I'm working on it. I'm trying. This is uh, almost the first time I would say in six months that I've actually been on the treadmill. Of course, I've continued to run outside. Now, I am inside Lifetime in Bluefield Township where they've gone to, I would say, drastic measures to try and keep people safe here. I'm on this treadmill, as you can see, for example, this one over here, they've got thank you for practicing social distancing. So for every piece of equipment, equipment you, that you see, they are trying to spread people out and make sure that they're uh, staying off of uh, the equipment next to it. Let me get off of here. It's like uh, trying to walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> In a moment, I'll uh, end up wi uh, wiping this down with this disinfectant spray. So they're encouraging people to wipe the equipment before and after they use it to try and uh, limit the spread of COVID-19. Of course, once people come in, as we showed you at five o'clock, they're met at the door with the temperature uh, check screening station to make sure that they do not have a fever once they come in. So we checked in with a couple of other chains to hear about how they've gone to the measures that they've taken to try and keep people safe. We've always been known for our cleanliness, but we added even more cleaning stations. Planet Fitness calls its reopening plans social fitnessing. Owner Brian Reef says most of the 80 locations in Michigan plan to reopen over the next 10 days, starting with limited hours. And members will be able to monitor how busy a location is with the new app as people check in. So you'll see essentially a fuel gauge um, that you can look at before you even decide to go to the gym to see how busy we are. And that's based on the, the, uh, the new um, requirements um, that the governor put in place with the executive order. The governor's executive order limits gym capacity to 25 percent, a limit anytime fitness says it never exceeds. But first and foremost, we've posted all the signage saying to make sure that you social distance and wear face coverings while you're in the gym. We have done away with the public drinking fountains. We still have a water bottle filling station that people can use. And no shower use for the time being. We've also taken it one step further with our group training. We have decided to limit our classes to 50% um, for the near future. And um, that would allow for about nine to 12 feet of space in between each uh, member. All right, we're back out here live. I'm joined by Mike Wilker, who's the senior general manager here at Lifetime in Bloomfield Township. Mike, we were talking a minute ago, you basically were saying it's kind of surreal to see the people here this morning. Absolutely. Uh, it's been uh, March 16th is when we closed the location and we're open up this morning at 5 a.m. So talking to our leadership team last night as we were preparing for this morning's traffic, uh, it felt like the first day of school all over again. So we're super excited to serve the community making sure everyone's healthy and safe and we're inviting to everybody. All right, and you and I actually, uh, you gave me a walkthrough in late June in anticipation of opening right. up and you were prepared then. So it sounds like a lot of work, as I was telling people at the top of this story, a lot of work has gone into this day. Yes, yeah, so we have a 400 page playbook Nash we've been using for all the locations. So you can see we've uh, exhausted all the options. We hired a third party epidemiologist to really help us and get this set up to, to be clean and safe and make sure we're getting it right. So a lot of prepare, a lot of preparation going into today and we're poised to execute very well. Okay, well thank you very much, Mike. Thanks for letting us in here. I'll have to uh, finish my workout on the, tr in a tr on the treadmill in just a moment here. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it back to you guys. Live in Bloomfield Township this morning, Darren Cunningham, seven, Action News. Darren's got the guns out and the sun's I know. out. Woo woo! You're our inspiration, Darren. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs>